So this is not really an original idea since someone already done this before like Daniel Kraft with his video on redesigning his desktop icons. So I'm just gonna steal his video but with a twist. Instead of Blender, I will be using SketchUp, this one. The difference is that SketchUp is more of an architectural tool and Blender is more towards modeling. Both are great for their own purposes. By the way, this is not going to be an in-depth video on how to make it on SketchUp. This is just a challenge I made for myself using SketchUp. I will just briefly explain what's going on. If you want an in-depth tutorial, do let me know. Okay. Now, the first icon that I did was TF2 icon because it's my most favorite and most played game of all time with its 700 hours of playtime, which is not a lot. Anyway, it's probably the most simplest one to start because it's basically a rounded square with a circle in the middle. To be completely honest, I don't really know what this logo means. <laughs> Some people said that it looks like the control point from the game. I don't know, but I thought that it looked cool, so I made it even cooler. I start off basically making a circle and cut a hole in the middle and a line in the middle and then extrude it and upward. I could just stop right there but I thought that it doesn't look that cool. So I tried to use a plugin to make the edge round but it turns out that my plugin has expired. So yeah that's gonna be a problem. But the thing is the beauty of SketchUp is that not to only follow a linear path but is to solve a problem in your own way. For example, you can make a box in lots of ways. Some are time consuming like making a line one by one and some are quicker like bam and bam. So in this situation I had to improvise. I made an offset and push it up again and make an arc on the edge of the circle thing. Later I used a tool called follow me tool which is pretty self-explanatory really. You click on a flat surface and guide it with the flow of a line that you create it will follow it until you click to stop it. And so I did. I created a much more curved edges on the circle, but I noticed that there's a small gap underneath. I was planning to fix it, but then I thought, if you can't see it, why bother? You don't really need details on icons, just like what Dino said in his video, because it's so small. So don't waste too much time on that and keep continuing on. After doing a little test render using V-Ray plugin and adding colors and lighting, I thought that it's missing a background. I was planning on making it just that, but I want to make it even more visible. So I added the round square and it's starting to look cool. I added a little of metal texture to fit in with the theme of TF2, but I realized during editing that you can't really see it, so why did I do such thing? because I don't listen to my own advice. After spending too much time on adding unnecessary detail, I fully render it and convert it into an icon format. And I must say, it do look pretty cool. Although I think the highlight is a bit too much, but hey, it's my first time and I'm proud of it. Next icon is Totally Accurate Battle Simulator or TAPS. This is going to be a tricky one because SketchUp is not used to model something like a face or a human figure. You can make it, but it's gonna look weird. So I was going to search a picture of a face from the game to create the logo. Then I thought, if I have the game, can I just screenshot in-game? So I did. I opened the game and began to spawn every single unit available in this game. And then I realized something. Holy crap, there are so many units in this game. There are so many that I even reached to the edge of the map. Not really because there's still the other half, but it's still quite a lot. So I began searching for a unit that represent the game well. I was thinking of using the king because well, he is a king, but I thought that his head is a bit too big for the icon. And same goes for the Jarl. It's cool, but it's too big. After a long search, I picked the Viking because he looked cool and not too big. So I screenshot it and open SketchUp and make a set of square. Just so you know, I have no experience on modeling at all, so this was a very difficult task for me to do. After making a set of square like a Rubik's Cube, I select the line on the edge of the shape to make it look like a head. 
I cut it in half so that I can have a symmetrical face later. Basically copy and pasting and flip it. You can tell by this footage that I was struggling on making a basic head. I could make a smooth oval but that would defeat the purpose of this because Tab's character are quite polygonal. After making the head, I started to make the helmet which is actually not that hard, just extrude and scale it down, extrude and scale it down. Later, I add a small detail and you can see that even without experience in modeling at all, you can still tackle complicated tasks as long as you know your tools and think outside the box. It's not the tools that makes the man, it's the man that makes the tool. I don't know who said that but I thought it's quite inspirational. Last but not least, I made the beard which is another one that I have a problem doing but managed to make a somewhat similar beard from the game. I think there are easier way of doing this than what I did so if you know a faster way then do let me know. I made the horns on the helmet and did the coloring and lighting and voila! Convert it into an icon format and done. It looked a lot cooler than it was before. I'm not saying that the previous icon looked bad, no. I just wanted to make my own personal version to it because it's cool. So that's it. Both took me a day to complete but it was still tiring. I think it is a perfect way for me and for you too if you want to do this yourself to practice a bit more on tackling problems in SketchUp. And please use as many plugins as you can because it really helps you to work efficiently and smarter. So uh, thank you for watching I guess and I will do this again on other icons because it was fun. So I hope you enjoy. Bye.